I think that this is a, a problem which seems to me to be uh, extremely important, and I, th I think it's more important every day, is the problem of observation. Now, one reason why I think so is because I get so sick and tired of hearing about the various different uh, schools of psychoanalysis and um, their great superiority to the other one, whichever it is. Uh, one of the reasons for this is because the possibility of arguing about the re relative merits is simply endless. Don't think I know of any scientific work unless it is based on observation. In order to supply us with facts which we might be able to interpret and go on from that point. <laughs> Uh, psychoanalysis is alleged to be one of them. Of course, I went through the very considerable training courses, both in the old Tavistock and in the Institute of Psychoanalysis, um, learning more and more a series. But I didn't know what on earth else to do except to learn these various theories which uh, uh, I understood one needed to know. But long after I had uh, completed my training course, and I think begun to recover from that traumatic experience, I really thought that I uh, began to get an impression about what it was all about. I don't think I'm satisfied yet as to what that impression was or how I gathered it. And that is why one reason why I would like to continue debating the matter here, because you may be able to throw some light on the subject uh, and uh, perhaps one could get f some further clue about the whole thing. Namely, this, this matter of what is it that one is observing it's something like that that I feel about uh, this matter of uh, psychoanalysis and characters and personalities. Even groups of people. Uh, take, take, for example, us here. I wonder why, why or how such a mass of diverse people come together at the same time and in the same place. Well, of course, that can be very easily explained. so easily that it's completely fallacious and it's just one of these bits of knowledge which are a frightful nuisance. <laughs> and indeed, the kind of work that I'm engaged in I feel that most people have reached an age 
where they have so much knowledge that they can't penetrate through to the wisdom. It's a new kind of a forest. It's a new kind of forest which you can't see for the trees. You can't see the wisdom for the knowledge. But I think that the great advantage of a individual analysis is that you've got the collaboration, if you're lucky, of the one person who really knows, and that is the patient. <coughs> because I think it is fairly easy to see that it's likely that the patient, because you are invited to pay no attention whatever to the fact that the patient has said they had a terrible feeling. Indeed, when a patient enters the consulting room, <coughs> I do regard myself as fortunate because the patient is so cooperative as actually to have taken the trouble to get there and to present themselves. And I am lucky enough to have a chance to observe. Uh, one reason for it is that I find that the prospect of the patient coming to me for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, <coughs> somewhat unappealing. <laughs> And yet, so much of medical practice, not just psychoanalytic, but uh, all medical practice, all this practice which is intended to be helpful to the human being, as if one uh, had no way of being selective, and didn't know what to select. I try to resist that. And one way I try to resist it is by regarding the patient that I see at that session as an entirely new patient. And I think this isn't so very wild either. Because time has passed and although you can't see time or feel it, I think it is uh, fair to say that time has passed and people get older. So that the patient that you see is not the same patient <coughs> as the one that you saw yesterday, which one has to bring a fresh mind. I, I think that something similar can be done uh, with a, a group of people. <coughs> if you're an analyst, it's rather difficult because one gets almost hardened to human suffering. almost like becoming a sort of doctor or surgeon who is uh, so used to having patience that he forgets that it hurts and so used to hearing about uh, anxiety <coughs> and so forth that one forgets that it hurts. It always leads to one wanting to know more about uh, something about which one knows nothing. 